Welcome to the Combat Sports in Africa, the podcast that brings you the most compelling martial arts stories from across the continent. Today, we're thrilled to feature Zimbabwe's own Louis Porcupine Mataya, a two-time African International Mixed Martial Arts Federation champion. Lewis is set to make his long-anticipated professional MMA debut this Friday, September 27th, at UAE Warriors 53 Arabia vs. Africa against Algeria's Sliman Hosseini, who holds an undefeated 2-0 and zero record. You can watch it live on UFCFightPass.com. Don't you dare miss it. In this episode, our host Garma Me sits down with Lewis to discuss his leap into professional mixed martial arts. Don't forget to follow Combat Sports in Africa wherever you get your podcasts. Connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for more incredible stories. Now let's dive into the interview conducted by Garma Me. Lewis Matea, how are you doing? Very well, thank you, Garma Me. I am doing very well. How are you? I'm good. You know, I've been thinking over the last couple of years, have I been pronouncing your last name correctly? No. No, you I haven't. haven't. Okay. Correct me, please. Yeah. Mataya. Mataya. Okay. This Mataya. whole time. This whole time I've been saying Louis Mataya, but it's Louis Mataya. So thank you very much for finally correcting me on that. And it's uh, all good. I'm assuming you asked because of the guilt you were feeling, wasn't it? <laughs> Well, yeah, partially, partially. But, uh, you know, I, I have uh, I have a bunch of questions, three, actually, three questions to ask you because you're making your pro debut uh, on Friday, September 27th, UAE Warriors 53. It's Arabia versus Africa. Lewis, as you embark on your professional debut, how does this moment encapsulate your journey from African amateur champion to the global stage? And what does representing Zimbabwe and Africa mean to you? So I believe that's two questions in one. It shows the vision is correct. It shows that what I have been seeing in my mind that drove me to do all the work that I've done as an amateur, and I've done a lot as an amateur. It shows that I was, I was, I was correct. I was, yeah, my vision was correct. So this moment, it's like many others that I, I saw coming and. I am ready for it. I've been ready for it for a very long time. And now it's time to seize my moment. This is a massive moment for you, your journey and, and your story. And I was introduced to you via the uh, IMAF Africa Championships. And, uh, you know, your, your story is, is a remarkable one. And I know there's uh, I know we've done a few interviews on the Combat Sports in Africa podcast, but of course you're very engaged on social media and you share a lot. And for any fans who may not be familiar with you, I think uh, if they go on your social media page and and get to know you, they'll, they'll know your journey and uh, and your path and your intensity as a competitor. Second question for you is, how have you refined your training and mindset to embrace the rigors of professional competition? Because this is your professional debut I would imagine the pressure is on. The whole world will be watching on UFC Fight Pass. This is a global, you know, event that UAE Warriors is uh, is putting on, of course, in Abu Dhabi. So how have you refined your training and particularly your mindset? Because you are very mentally strong. At the end of the day, Gamami, everything for me is about understanding. The moment I can understand something, I will adapt. And in this moment, there's going to be a bunch of interviews from uh, reporters. I've done a lot of those as an amateur gamami, and you know it. I've done a lot of interviews, podcasts with you. I've been preparing for this. And then the second thing is the crowd. Now, the crowd does not really bother me because I grew up with an insane amount of social anxiety and low self-esteem so at every moment the whole world was watching me and judging me that's not gonna bother me anymore now i'm an asset i've got a set of skills that very few people in this world have that i've honed over the years and i know the crowd will be cheering for me and the second thing is their expectations there will be a lot of expectations from the whole continent the whole 
country, those will not bother me because that's their expectations of me. I have my own expectations of me, Gamami. So I understand that. And I'm going into the fight understanding that only my expectations matter. And those are the ones I have to burden myself with. The last thing are the lights. <laughs> the lights, the loud crowd, they're going to be on me just like they're going to be on my opponent. So I need to familiarize myself with the lights for the first minute. And then that's it. That's it, really. At the end of the day, I'm not fighting the crowd. I'm fighting a guy that's standing in front of me. So understanding that will get me to calm down. Fascinating answer there in regards to uh, expectations and how you're reframing all that. Because obviously, yeah, the pressure is on. People may have expectations from you, your fans, your community, this, that, and the other. But uh, I really, I, I find that answer of yours really insightful and uh, and brilliant, quite frank, quite frankly, if I can say that, you know, because I think. Uh, you're right. It's 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 owing it to yourself and making your and centering it to to yourself and and your journey, your your path. Right. I think I think that's uh, that's a really interesting and and great answer. Uh, if you don't mind me asking about your opponent, what can you tell us about your opponent? Let me pull up. His... I can I can tell you he is his greatest advantage in our fight will be his reach he is six feet tall and i am five foot six so he's gonna have the reach advantage he is very tall i think we're on the same level in terms of jiu-jitsu honestly i do have quite a few advantages over him um i won't mention those because i don't want him to know that i know obviously he he, he knows he knows he because I, I I post a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm keen to see what he I'm keen to see what his game plan is in the moment and then shut it down. Because uh as you know, I'm quite well rounded. I can do whatever I want in a fight. But his main advantage is his reach. And he's got a bit more experience. I don't know where he fought and how big the crowd was, but he is two and oh as a professional MMA fighter. So he's seen the lights. He is he's been there, you know, at, at 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 a professional level. And this is my debut. So that's what I can say about my opponent. Damn, I've given away too much. Yeah. Well, well, not really. Maybe your opponent is from Algeria. His name is Sliman Haisani. I hope I'm not mispronouncing his name. But this is going to be an exciting fight for the Arabia versus Africa series of UAE Warriors. This is number 53 in Abu Dhabi. It's available, of course, on UFC Fight Pass. This is uh, quite an opportunity for you to, to make a debut on this global MMA brand that's that's booking all sorts of incredible events. Uh, of course, I, I do like their Arabia versus Africa series. Uh, last question for you, Mr. L Lewis before, Mataya. Before, before, before the last question, well done. That You pronounced it perfectly. Well done, Gamami. Thank you. <laughs> before the last question... Man, I've got a lot to learn. Did you see how you answered my question? You you answered my question for me. Did More I? than you, yeah, you did it a lot better than I I did. Darn it, Gamami, you're a better loose than I am. No, no, I, I think I think you're you're underselling yourself, my friend. No, I think your 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 answer there. If you go back uh, once once I post this interview, you'll see it's uh, yeah, it it's. Your your answer was spot on, you know, because I know as uh, you got a lot of fans, obviously, in on the continent of Africa. You've, you've got a lot of fans everywhere, man. And uh, I'm not just saying that. And I think once this brand introduces you, this brand, I'm speaking about UAE Warriors, Palm Sports, once they propel and introduce you and they just give you the mic to connect, you know, I think you will resonate. You know that you'll resonate with with a bigger bigger audience and i mean this is why i've always interviewed you because you're always uh an open person a, tra a transparent person and i think um fans connect with with that and and the rawness and uh you know uh so so are you saying i'm gonna be a superstar gamami 
it doesn't matter what I say, my friend. What matters is what Louis Mataya says. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you know, like I, I think I think you already are a superstar, bro. Like wow. I, I think I know, I know. I, I think so. So I, you don't need any recognition from some random guy named Germami on the Combat Sports in Africa podcast. I think any who, journalist who are you calling random? I've known you for over two years now, Germami. Yeah, of course. But in the grander scheme of things, all, all I'm saying is I think anyone who interviews you and who's followed you, your story, uh, you know, from afar, et cetera. Well, let me let, let me tell them this. Whoever follows my story and jumps on now, Gamami is a really good friend of mine and he's a cool dude. And I'm going to be a superstar. And he's saying it and it matters. Thank you, Gamami. On to the next question, please. You already are a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> Last yes. question. What impact? Yes, sir. What impact do you anticipate this debut will have on your MMA future? And what legacy do you aspire to initiate with this opportunity? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm an all-in or all-out person. Whenever I do something, I make sure I'm all-in and I'm 100% invested. I've invested everything in this fight, my time, my energy. And trust me, on the day... I'm bringing something I have never, ever shown to the MMA community. So this is going to be on the headlines on every channel, every social media platform. This appearance is going to be the greatest that the world has seen in a very long time. I can I can promise you that. So that's what this is going to be, Gamami. I've yeah, I've 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 invested everything into this, and knowing myself, all my investments pay dividends. Louis Matea, we wish you all the best at UAE Warriors Fifty Three, September twenty seventh, in Abu Dhabi. It's Africa or Arabia versus Africa, and it's available on on Fight Pass. So for all all the fans who want to see it, make sure you check it out on UFC Fight Pass. We're looking forward to seeing your professional debut, my friend, and we wish you all the best. Thank you, Gabami. Thank you so much.